Hi everyone, um, we just received our latest order of goodies and I thought I'd show you some of the new and fascinating things that we're going to start stocking here at Princess and Puddin. Um, we're going to work our way through this box and I want to um, have a go at using all these different media and things before I put them up on the website. But I'll just show you what we're going to be testing out. Um, this first one is some um, stencil vinyl. We have some magnetic sheets. Um, these ones are silver stippling sheets. We have metal etching sheets. So there's so much that your silhouettes can do apart from vinyl and cardstock. Um, so we thought it was time we try out some of these things. Um, cork sheets. Um, this next one is some score and emboss paper. Uh, there's another cork sheet. This one is embossing foil. So that looks a bit interesting, that one. Uh, I think it'll take us a little bit of time to work our way through all of these, but we'll get there. Okay, this one is some double-sided adhesive sheets. So it looks like they're handy for um, being sticky on both sides so you can do a little bit of embossing and things like that. And that's another one. What else have we got here? We have got some adhesive corrugated paper. Okay, so that looks like it'll be more for your scrapbooking type things. Okay, this next one, what have we got? We have got some chipboard. So that again would be good for your scrapbooking. Um, they're 30 by 30 centimetres, those ones. So what we, our, our main objective is to use all these things and show everyone that there is so much more that your silhouette can do apart from vinyl and cardstock. Um, these ones are adhesive washi sheets, so they're just like your washi tape, but you can cut out these lovely fine sheets of adhesive washi. We also have printable adhesive craft paper. Okay, that'll be interesting. Print and cut sort of thing, I guess. There we go, some stickers. Okay. What's next? We have some glitter sticker sheets. So again, I'm presuming this is like print and cut. What's on the back here? It is. Try and get that shine out of the road. So that'll be kind of cool, especially for some of you ladies that like doing your planning and things like that. Okay, next one. Printable heat transfer for light coloured fabrics. Okay, that'll be good. Excellent. Okay, I know we've got some tattoo papers. There's a white tattoo paper we're going to try out. There's, oh, there we go, a silver tattoo paper. We have gold tattoo paper. Don't mind my reflection in it. <laughs> Okay, what's this one? This one is image transfer sheets, white. Okay, so maybe that's a little bit like adhesive vinyl. We'll soon find out when we work our way through this nice little pile. The next one, printable heat transfer for dark fabrics. We have some vellum. Again, that's more for your scrapbooking type things. There's another pack of vellum. Okay. I'm looking forward to it with this one, actually. Window cling material. So, again, I'm presuming it's like print and cut. But it's on your semi-transparent window cling. Another one. We have got... 
printable tattoo paper. So I think this one is clear. So we'll have to do um, a segment on just tattoo paper and see how they all compare. Okay, next one, printable gold foil. Oh, that'd be nice for weddings and things like that. We have printable clear sticker paper, it says. But it looks like, now yeah, that would be good. I actually like using clear stickers in my planner. Next on the list, printable magnet magnet paper. That would be a fun thing to do with the kids actually. We have scratch off stickers. That will be fun if you've got um, your own business you could do little uh, giveaway scratchies or something like that for your customers. Two packs the same here and they are adhesive magnet paper. Show on the back. Okay. Excellent. Give that a go. Okay. Now I actually love sewing, um, and I'm wanting to try some fabric in my silhouette. So, and I know you have to um, put some sort of stabilizer on the back. So this is a fusible fabric stabilizer. I'm going to pop on some fabric and see how it goes about um, cutting out. We have some faux leather paper. Hmm, no pictures, I'm a visual girl, but anyway, I'm sure we'll work it out. Um, that's some more fabric stabiliser. We have silhouette adhesive vinyl glow in the dark. So I might have to make some stars for my son's room. And what's last but not least, we have a kit to try to do some fabric ink, ink, fabric ink art. So that's kind of cool. I presume it's like screen printing. Looks a bit like it to me. Okay, so that's our big mountain of bits and pieces we're going to have a go at and... Um, if there's something you want us to try first, just um, put a comment in down below and um, we'll give it a go first. But we'll try and get a couple done each week and work our way through them. And in the near future, we'll be stocking lots more Silhouette Gordies. So thanks and bye for now.